Have you ever wondered why Android versions have such sweet names? From Cupcake to Donut, Kit Kat to Oreo, it seems like every version of Android used to come with a craving for dessert. But why did Google, the tech giant behind the world's most popular mobile operating system, decide to name its software after sugary treats? In this video, we'll explore the origins, meaning, and eventual end of this tasty tradition that defined Android for over a decade. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. Let's start with a bit of history. When Android was first developed, it wasn't owned by Google. It was actually founded in 2003 by Andy Rubin and a few others, with the goal of creating an advanced operating system for digital cameras. Eventually, they realized that mobile phones were the future, and in 2005, Google acquired Android Incorporated. Over the next few years, Google developed Android into a full-fledged smartphone operating system, competing with Apple's iOS. The early versions of Android had boring technical version names like 1.0 and 1.1, but that changed in 2009 when Android 1.5 was released under a new name, Cupcake. And that's where the delicious naming tradition began. So why Cupcake? According to Google engineers, naming software versions after desserts was originally an inside joke within the Android development team. The team wanted something more fun and memorable than just numbers. At the time, tech companies often used code names for their software projects. Microsoft had Longhorn and Whistler, and Apple used names like Cheetah and Panther for MacOS. Google, being known for its playful and creative culture, decided to take a more whimsical approach. The idea of naming versions after desserts came up, and it stuck. Cupcake sounded friendly, lighthearted, and perfectly in line with Google's quirky image. After Cupcake, the pattern continued. The next versions were Donut, Eclair, Froyo, Gingerbread, Honeycomb, Ice Cream Sandwich, Jelly Bean, Kit Kat, Lollipop, Marshmallow, Nougat, Oreo, and finally, Pie. Each name corresponded to a version of Android, and every one of them followed the alphabet, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. The alphabetical order became another layer of fun for users who loved guessing what the next dessert name would be. It wasn't just a naming convention. It was a tradition that Android fans looked forward to with every update. But beyond just being fun, there was a strategic side to this naming system. Google knew that technology could feel intimidating to the average user. By giving Android versions lighthearted dessert names, they made their product more approachable and relatable. Instead of saying, I'm running Android 4.4, People could say, I'm on KitKat, and it instantly sounded friendlier. It was a clever marketing move that humanized the software and gave Android a unique identity in the tech world. The names also helped people remember updates more easily. After all, it's much easier to recall Lollipop than Android 5.0. Some of the dessert names even had real-world partnerships. The most famous one was Android KitKat, which launched in 2013 through a collaboration with Nestle. It was the first and only time a commercial candy brand was used for an Android version. As part of the marketing campaign, Nestle even released special KitKat bars with Android branding on the wrappers. Inside, people could find codes to win Nexus devices and Google Play credits. This was a brilliant cross-promotion, combining technology and candy in a way no one expected. The partnership brought massive publicity to both Android and KitKat, and it remains one of the most memorable moments in Android's history. 
Google even built real-life statues of each dessert version and displayed them on the lawn of its headquarters in Mountain View, California. Each time a new version was released, a statue of that dessert would appear. A giant cupcake, a smiling donut, a green android holding an ice cream sandwich, and so on. These statues became iconic symbols of Android's fun, creative spirit, and fans from all over the world visited Googleplex just to take photos with them. It turned a software update into something people could physically see and celebrate. However, this sweet naming tradition eventually came to an end. In 2019, Google announced that Android 10 would no longer carry a dessert name. Instead, they decided to switch to a more straightforward numbering system. The reason, according to Google, was clarity. They found that not all dessert names translated well across different languages and cultures. For example, not everyone outside the U.S. knew what a pie or nougat was. Since Android is a global operating system with billions of users, Google wanted names that everyone could easily understand. So, starting with Android 10, the dessert names were retired, and the operating system continued with simple numbers. Android 10, Android 11, Android 12, and so on. Still, even though the public naming system changed, Google engineers kept the dessert code names alive internally. For example, Android 11 was called Red Velvet Cake behind the scenes, Android 12 was Snow Cone, and Android 13 was Tiramisu. This shows that while the official branding moved toward simplicity, Google never completely abandoned its playful roots. The dessert spirit still lives on, even if it's hidden from the spotlight. In the end, the reason Android versions were named after desserts was simple, to make technology fun, human, and memorable. It reflected Google's personality, a company that values creativity, humor, and accessibility. The dessert names made Android feel less like a sterile software product and more like something people could enjoy and look forward to. For over 10 years, it was a delightful tradition that turned software updates into a celebration. And while the world has moved on to numbered versions, the legacy of Cupcake, Donut, and Kit Kat continues to leave a sweet taste in tech history. So next time you scroll through your phone or update your Android version, remember the era when every update came with a dessert. It was more than just a name. It was a symbol of Google's unique culture. A reminder that even in technology, a little bit of sweetness can go a long way. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.